This is 6 Minute English from bbclearningenglish.com. Hello, I'm Fei Fei and welcome to another episode of 6 Minute English. Hi, I'm Neil. Here you are, Neil. I was just about to start without you. No need. No need. I'm never late, you know that. <clears throat> Punctuality is my middle name. Punctuality meaning being on time for things. Yes, punctuality means not being late. Uh, it's, uh, it's very, very important in Western working culture. Are you a punctual person, Fei-Fei? I'm always punctual in my working life, but in my personal life... Uh, OK, I don't want to know. I don't want to well. know. Right. Uh, well, that's interesting, because the psychiatrist Dr Keith Ablo says the three most common causes for lateness are, firstly, worrying about the appointment, secondly a need to show power or superiority. And the third reason for people being late is they have a need to know they are loved. So, Fei-Fei, which one is you? Sounds like you're a kind of mixture of all no of them. No comment. Let's move on. OK, well, let's hear what some of our friends and colleagues have to say about punctuality. I think living in London, you find that the most common reason for being late is transport because it's not very reliable whenever you're rushing somewhere and you think you're okay with time and then suddenly your train is delayed and if you have to change to another train you might miss that train and it can make you be even later than you intended to be. Well that was very interesting Generally speaking, if you're going to be late for something, it's polite to call and let people know. Yes, it is. And here's a clip of someone doing just that. Joe Smith speaking. Hi, Joe. It's Sarah. I'm on my way to the meeting, but I'm afraid the traffic's terrible. I'm sorry, but I think I'm going to be late. OK, don't worry. What time do you think you'll get there? To be honest, it's hard to say. I've been here for 30 minutes and the traffic is at a standstill. I think I'll be about 15 minutes late. OK, thanks for letting me know. If you're going to be any later, call me again. OK, will do. Sorry again. See you soon. So that was Sarah calling to say she's going to be late. And if I'm not mistaken... Is Business Betty. Hello. I'm not late, am I? No, 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 not at all. And I wouldn't care if you were. Oh, thank you, Neil. Well, you're just in time to tell us how to say you're going to be late for something. Oh, that's good. I hate being late for things. <clears throat> right, OK, so to business. Now, in the English-speaking world, if you're going to be late for an appointment, you should let people know. There are three things you need to do here. First... Apologise. Second, explain why you're late. And third, say when you think you'll arrive. So, first, apologise. Here's what Sarah said. I'm sorry, but I think I'm going to be late. I'm sorry, but I think I'm going to be late. Nice and simple. She apologised again at the end of the conversation. Sorry again. Second, explain why you're late. Sarah said, I'm on my way to the meeting, but I'm afraid the traffic's terrible. I've been here for 30 minutes and the traffic's at a standstill. Let's hear that again. I'm on my way to the meeting, but I'm afraid the traffic's terrible. I've been here for 30 minutes and the traffic's at a standstill. And third, say when you think you'll arrive. I think I'll be about 15 minutes late. And again? I think I'll be about... 15 minutes late. And then stop worrying. When you finally get to your meeting, don't go rushing straight in. Take a couple of minutes first to calm down and freshen up so that you appear professional and not panicky. A quick apology when you arrive. Sorry I'm late, everyone. And then it's down to business. So I hope that's helpful. Very, very helpful. Yes, thanks, Betty. Good, because I've got to go now. I've got a meeting and I don't want to be late. Bye. 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 She is so good. Shall we listen to the clip again? I think we should. Joe Smith speaking. Hi, Joe. It's Sarah. I'm on my way to the meeting, 
but I'm afraid the traffic's terrible. I'm sorry, but I think I'm going to be late. OK, don't worry. What time do you think you'll get there? To be honest, it's hard to say. I've been here for 30 minutes and the traffic's at a standstill. I think I'll be about 15 minutes late. OK, thanks for letting me know. If you're going to be any later, call me again. OK, will do. Sorry again. See you soon. So that's what to do if you're running late. Yeah, so next time, Fei Fei, can you uh, set off a bit earlier? I don't want to Well, yes, around. set off early, you, Neil. Yeah, well, uh, well, you don't want to talk about your personal life, do you? So I won't mention that thing. Well, you were the one that was late for the programme. Yeah, but generally speaking, generally speaking, it's you, isn't it? So anyway, make sure you join us for the next episode of Six Minute English. And don't be late. <laughs> Bye. Rich coming from you.